Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix crashing and freezing issue with Thermesia game on your Windows computer. Now the first step is to restart your computer. So just restart your computer once and after the system restart, try launching the game. Next step is to install Visual C++ file. For this, copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. Scroll down here, you can see Visual Studio 2015, 17, 19, and 22. Install x86 and x64 versions. So download both the file, x86 and x64. And then run both the exe file. Click on repair or install. So if you see the install option, click on install. Click on yes to allow. Run both the exe file. Again, if you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install option, click on install. And let the installation complete. Now, once both the installation are complete, you will see the restart option. So make sure that you click on restart, restart your computer and then launch the game. Now, the next step is to do a clean installation of your graphics driver. So if you have NVIDIA card, go to NVIDIA website. If you have AMD card, go to AMD website. I'm showing for NVIDIA. On NVIDIA website, select your graphic card. Make sure that you select your graphic card over here and then select the right operating system. So if you have Windows 10, select Windows 10. If you have Windows 11, select Windows 11. Now click on start search. Scroll down over here. You can see GeForce Game Ready Driver. This is the latest one right now. So click on get download. Click on download now. Now once the download is complete, run the exe file and then you will see the screen click on agree and continue and then put a check on the box which says custom and then click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation and then click on next now let the installation complete now after the installation your driver should be up to date now the next step is for laptop users with dual graphic card Make sure that you're running the game on dedicated graphic card. For this, type in graphics settings in Windows search box and then click on graphics settings. Now click on browse. Now go to the game installation folder. So if the game is installed in C drive, open C drive, open program files x86, open Steam folder, open Steam apps folder. Now open the common folder. Over here, you will find the game folder. So open the game folder and then click on add. Now, once the game is added over here, click on options. This is just an example. Once the game is added, click on options, select high performance, and then click on save, and then launch the game. Now, the next step is to run the game as an administrator. So again, go to the game installation folder. So this is just an example. I'm showing you with another game. So make a right click on the Thymesia game, and then click on manage, then click on browse local file. It will straight away take you to the game installation folder. Make a right click on the game exe file. This is just an example. And then select properties, go to compatibility tab and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator. Then click on apply, okay. And then make a double click over here and launch the game from the game installation folder. Now the next step is to allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. So if you have any third party antivirus, make sure that you allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. If you're using Windows security, then go to the start menu then click on settings. Click on update and security if you have Windows 10. If you have Windows 11, click on privacy and security. And then click on Windows security. Now click on virus and threat protection. Scroll down, click on manage ransomware protection. Click on allow an app through control folder access. Click on yes to allow. Now click on add an allowed app, then click on browse all apps. Then go to the game installation folder. Again, go to the game installation folder. This is just an example. So go to the game installation folder. So again, open the Steam folder, Steam apps folder. Now open the common folder over here, you will find the game folder. So select the exe file. So I'm showing you with different game. So open the game folder and then select the game exe file. This is just an example. And then click on open once the game is added over here. Now launch the game. Now the next step is to disable overlay in Steam. So make a right click on the game, select properties, 
uncheck the box which says enable the steam overlay while in game uncheck this and then launch the game also close all the overlay applications so if you have discord running close discord now if you have ge force experience running close ge force experience so close all the overlay application also close all the overclocking application so if you have msi afterburner running on the computer close msi afterburner if you have reboot tuner close reboot tuner so close all the overclocking application perform clean boot for this type in system configuration in windows search box and then click on system configuration go to the services tab and then put a check on the box which says hide all microsoft services and then click on disable all i already did it that's why this is gray all in your case this would be highlighted so put a check over here and then click on disable all then click on apply click on okay and then restart the computer you will see the restart option restart the computer and then launch the game also close all the background application so make sure only the steam and the game is running rest close everything also update your windows to the latest version this is important go to the start menu click on settings click on update and security and then click on check for update now once all the updates are installed restart the computer and then launch the game next step is to verify the game file again go to steam make a right click on thamesia game and then select properties go to the local files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files after the verification launch the game next step is to launch the game if you are able to launch the game try window mode switch to window mode and lower down graphics settings so if everything is set to high you can select medium or low quality and then check now the next step is to disconnect multiple monitors so try launching the game on single monitor also unplug all the usb devices which you are not using close it disconnect it and then launch the game also if you have these software running close these software and then launch the game also remove the undervolt if you have undervolted your hardware the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drive so make a right click on the game select manage then click on uninstall now after the uninstall delete the game installation folder so go to the game installation folder delete the game folder then restart the computer and after the system restart reinstall the game to different drive so if you have another ssd or hdd try installing the game to different drive so one of the steps should help you to get the game running and you should get rid of these issues so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel